So Bob, Bob Ricks asks, he says, by the way, Robert, some people have been criticizing the picture. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the picture of you holding the microphone in that way. Um, which, again, I do not really understand why they are saying that. I thought it would be used like when you're belting out some hard rock songs. Okay. So Bob Ricks it says, hey, Rob, there's some people that sometimes criticize you about the way you hold your mic. Um, some of you may realize if you look at any picture in the last 15 to 20 years of me holding a live mic, I hold the mic in a cradle, in a cupped, sort of a partially cupped position like this. Right? Pinky underneath, up on top. All right? And not very often, but from time to time, somebody will call me out on it. Typically a, a front live sound guy or somebody go, oh, no, no. Oh, no, you can't do that because it's going to create all kinds of feedback. It's going to all kinds of feedback. Well, um, here's the reason why I do this. Um, number one, this is uh, just one of three grips that we talk about inside the book and in the course, all right? The three grips are, one, the cradle grip, which I prefer, I use it all the time, I've been doing it, it's been doing it for so long, I can't even remember, all right? I've been doing it for like 20 years. This is the cradle grip, okay? And then there is the rack grip. This is the rack grip, all right? It's got plenty of ventilation. All right, it's elegant. And then this is the third grip, which I don't, it's not a big deal, it's fine if you wanna hold the mic this way, but it's not, not my first choice for me personally, and it's not what I'm recommending. And this is, you've seen this before, it's what everybody does. They hold the mic, go hunker down like this, and we call, this has a name too, we call it the Rotten, okay? It's, it, it's, it's, it's a tribute to Johnny Rotten, right? You hold the mic like this. I'll tell you why I don't like it like this, is because when you, when you hold the mic like this, a couple things, actually three things, Number one, it kind of makes the singer kind of grip down like this. It makes the people go, and then you get all kinds of tension creep. All kinds of tension creep. I don't like having to hold down. I don't want students holding down on, on a mic like this. I don't want that happening. I don't want that. I want the microphone to be sort of floating and, and, and elegant, all right? I don't want tension creep, okay? Two, the rotten makes you break your wrist. See how my wrist is breaking? That's contributing to the tension creep, all right? It's contributing to the same problem, all right? That's why it's rotten, okay? And three, this is just only my opinion, all right? I think it looks I don't like the way it looks. Now, the way it looks when you hold a mic is not super important, all right? I'll preface this by saying it's not a big deal, but at the end of the day, it's, I don't like the way it looks. I think it sort of looks like a Wednesday night karaoke night, and and... I don't like it, okay? I advocate two grips that don't break the wrist, okay? And don't create tension creep, all right? The rack, okay, this is the rack, very elegant, sort of what Barbara Streisand and a lot of divas will do, okay? No feedback problems, plenty of ventilation, you engineer types out there, all right? And the grip that Bob is referring to, it is a partially cupped grip, all right, and it's called the cradle. This is the cradle grip. Put your right hand out, put the mic between your pinky and your ring finger, bring these three fingers together, bring them up across the top, and then you want your thumb across the top, not across the bottom, but across the top, all right, like this. And what happens is the cradle grip sort of sits very nicely in the palm of your hand. The ergonomics are fantastic. It feels really comfortable. Especially if you have a microphone like this that is really thin on the shank. Okay? Some people like Audix and TC Helicon and Sennheiser and others uh, make microphones that are really thin on the shank. I prefer that. You'll notice that all the mics that I use typically are thin. And if they don't come thin out of the box like this one, this is an um, Electro Voice ND967, then I'll make it thin. This used to have a little rubber sleeve on it. I pulled it off because I want the shake to be thin. Why? Because I want my microphone to be ergonomically comfortable. I want it to be light in my hand, okay? 
It's my wizard wand. I want it to be light and floaty. I don't want to do this. I want to do this. Okay? Now, those of you that are concerned about feedback, what I'm about ready to tell you is the honest to God truth. Honest to God truth. I've been using this mic in live performances and in this studio for about 20 years. Excuse me, I meant this grip. I've been using this cradle grip for about 20 years. Seriously, not once, not once has a feed, feedback on me. Okay? I get it. I understand the concern about feedback. I get that. You know, uh, uh, you're, you're concerned that like the fully cut position like this would feedback, and it might. Um, is the risk of feeding back higher? Mm, probably. But the truth is, it's never happened to me. Now, this last spring, this last May, okay, uh, we had Rode microphones in here at our vocal athlete intensive. Myself and Draven Gray did a full week technique training program for singers all around the world. Some of them are on, on our program right now. And Rode microphones brought in their microphone uh, a specialist, a guy that travels around the country. He goes to all the dealers, all the resellers, and all the studios and talks about the Rode microphone products to, to dealers and distributors. Okay? It's his job is to understand these microphones. Well, Ryan had his table out here with all of his bikes. And, 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 I, and I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity. I want to see what Ryan has to say about my cradle grip. Okay? And so I asked him, hey, Ryan, you know, I, I got this sort of this funky grip that, that is interesting. And, and I like it because it's, it's comfortable for me. And two, by the way, it, it makes the mic a little bit boomier. It makes the mic just a touch hotter, a little bit boomier. And I love that. I don't, if I pull back and it gets a little bit thinner, it's not my preference. I love the mic to kind of get it just a little bit boomier. You hear that? Out here, ah, I get my mic, I get my, I get my critical position. It just gets a little bit meatier. It amplifies sort of the mids and the lows, all right? So it's, it's ergonomics and it's the sound color you get from the grip. It's the reason I like it and other singers do it as well. I've, heard, I've seen James Labrie from Dream Theater do this grip numerous times. Anyways, back to my story. I asked Ryan, Ryan, I got this funky grip. Uh, what do you think? You know, do you think there's a problem with this? I never been a problem. I, it's never fed back on me, but what do you think? And he goes, well, I don't know. Let me see it. And I show it to him. And, and Ryan looks at it and he goes, he instantly, he says, oh, that's not a problem. That's, that's fine. That's okay. He didn't even give it a second thought. He's like, Oh, uh, no problem. You see, Robert, the reason that's okay, I mean, be careful, but the reason it's mostly okay is because you get your ventilation here. This is not a fully cupped grip, right? A fully cupped grip would be stuff like this, okay? This is not fully cupped. It's only partially cupped. So I get my nice, snuggy, ergonomic grip. It's light. And I get a little bit of boost. That's the, that's the deal with the grip. So, Bob, the grip, it's not about belting. It's not about hard rock. It's not about metal. I mean, the fact that it sort of, sort of looks cool, that's not the reason why I'm doing it. All right? It's just a coincidence that it sort of looks cool. But just understand, I'm not doing it because it looks cool. I wouldn't do that. All right? Um, so it's not about hard rock, it's not about I'm a rocker or metal or whatever, it's just about um, comfort in my hand, and I like that additional amplification of the mids and the low mids that I get from the grip. All right, so that's a cradle grip, that's a controversy, that's a whole deal, that's what I'm doing, that's my story, I'm sticking to it, and I'm gonna keep um, holding the mic that way. All right? So there you go, Bob, good question. All right. Up here we have 